net. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was, itself, all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have traded his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of what lay behind beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. Oh, good. It didn't end. Oh, no. Welcome to the shelter. Uh -huh. Please have your identification documents ready. And stop that. Don't need this. Weird. Is there a big, funky shelter in the mine? Huh. Oh shit. What the hell? Flashlight! Glow stick. Okay, the glow stick works. Flare? Okay. I don't like where this is going. Oh shit! What the hell? that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> oh, cliffhangers. Anyway, that was Penumbra the Overture. Uh, up next, I might have to go ahead and do Black Plague, because I hate cliffhangers. I've seen most of Heartless's run-through of that, but that was a while ago, and I'm sure it'll be pretty blind, because I didn't pay a lot of attention. I like to do other things while I watch people Let's Play. Made by the same five people that made Amnesia. These guys have talent. If they had, like, a really big budget... I, and yet, at the same time, I hope they never sell out to a company like EA or Bethesda. Not that I really have a problem with Bethesda. Which, which, yeah, I do have a problem with EA, though. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I'd really like to see what these guys could do if, like, they won the lottery and had millions of dollars to put into a game. But it proves that you don't need high-budget acting talent to have good voice work. I mean, Red was fantastic. He's all they really had in this, but in, in um, Amnesia, the voice work is really good. These guys are solid. So, do I really want to start Black Plague today? Well, I guess you'll find out. This has been Death Evan 13 playing Frictional Games Overture to the Prenumbra series. Will there be more? Tune in and find out, and thank you for watching.